The reason I decided to get involved because um, political uh, uh, arena has impacted the practice of medicine and since politics is now involved in the practice of medicine, then I feel like the only way that I can respond and try to influence the decisions that they're making about how we practice is to do the work to get to places like this so that I can get to understand people's perspective and try to influence their thinking on how the practice of medicine should be done. Um, and so probably one of the most important things I think people need to understand is that um, we're here for the patient. The physicians are here for the patient. The, the patient is our primary focus and a lot of times when third parties get involved, their focus is not exactly on that patient, especially not the individual that we see on a daily basis in the office. So um, I, I would like for the politicians and the thought leaders to understand that when they allow the corporate practice of medicine to take place in the United States, which has never been done before, it corrupts the way um, patients are treated and it um, influences it negatively because there's a conflict of interest and there's perverse influence on the physician because now he's not um, accountable to the patient, he's accountable to a boss. The Republican platform has included um, a right of conscience clause, which I think is very important for the physician to not be forced to do something to a patient that he does not want to do, especially if he thinks that it's not um, ethical. And um, that is illustrated very well in Canada because they passed a law that um, forces a physician to participate in euthanasia, or what they're calling aid in dying. And um, also they are promoting the, the free market practice of medicine, which I think is the gold standard. The, the relationship should be between the physician and the patient always. There shouldn't be 157 agencies between those two. That's the gold standard. The best relationship is patient-physician, and um, they promote that uh, as much as possible for the patient to be empowered to negotiate cost and to be empowered to see the physician that he chooses and trusts the most. I would wanted to see um, a little bit of attention brought to the fact that we are doing more corporate medicine by hospital associations hiring physicians and taking over private practices, which I think is detrimental to the practice of medicine. Um, and I haven't heard that yet, but maybe in the future we'll be able to bring that up.